What's up, high levelers? Funnel Doc here. In today's video, we're going to be going over how do you set up and use the contact engagement scoring system that's just been released with inside high level. This is really cool because it allows you to pick certain criteria, and when they hit this criteria, they either gain or lose points. These points will be cumulative, and you'll be able to see at the end, depending on it, how you set it up, what type of rating each of your clients have. So, see you inside today's video. Now you'll see we're inside the conversations tab and you'll see right here, this demo account has 28 for its engagement score. Now to set that up, you're gonna to go to settings. Then you're gonna go down to manage scoring. You're gonna turn that on. And then originally see it's here, it's under draft and publish. Now, something you really need to know, this isn't retroactive. So if I set these different stat states or statuses or whatever you wanna call them, these different rules, and I turn on a publish, it's not going to go back in time. And if they did an action, know it and be able to give them a score. It's only from when you turn it on to that point. So you can come in and to, first of all, you remember, you've got to turn it on for it to take effect. And then to create your rules, you're just going to go right here where it says add new rule. And then you're going to pick your action. You've got email event and you pick that. And then you've got bounced, open, clicked, spammed, or unsubscribed. Now, say that you wanted for someone that said unsubscribe, I wanted to subtract, subtract instead of add points. So maybe I want to subtract 15. Now, the points that you, you pick, yeah, and always make sure you save your rule before you try to save it overall. So you'll see here that it's unsubscribed and I assigned the amount of points and it was subtracted. Uh, if from now on, anyone at this point, since it's published, it unsubscribed will be minus 15 points. Now, it's up to you on how you want to set your uh, amount of points. You know that I could have set that for 100 or 1,000. I recommend keeping the points low. That way, when something happens, it will show impact on it. I mean, imagine if I've got, you know, 100 points per thing. And then if you gain, you make a deal, you get 500. But if you uh, no show, you lose 150, you know, like 900 and something. I mean, eventually you'll understand and know your numbers and criteria and be able to recognize it. But in my opinion, I try and keep them low. That way also the numbers impact them and have a greater um, impact on the overall number that you see. Personal opinion, I'm going to be playing with a lot, creating a lot of rules, having a lot of fun with this. But without, with no further ado, let's jump into some more rules here. So again, we just went over action. Now, contact change. You could have D&D. &D, you could have add a tag, and then you could be added or removed. You could have custom field, and then you could pick whatever that custom field is. And then you could has changed to or has changed period or has changed to something specific. I mean, look how detailed you can get with this. This is pretty awesome. And the same things with tags. You can go tags removed, tags added. So if I added, you know, D&D &D email, they're going to lose five points, we'll say, something like that, you know, if they want a D&D &D and always remember to save it. So you come in again, you'll go into your rules. We just looked at tags. You've got payment received. You've got payment status. It's got is or is not. And then you've got paid or failed. And then you've got your source uh, is or is not. And then it could be from calendar, funnel, invoice. So it could be from an invoice here. Uh, or, you know, a funnel, if you wanted to make it so there's a certain funnel that um, uh, went in. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like you can add another layer. Um, but if, a, you know, overall payments for saving a funnel, they'll get a certain amount. And then you've got your contact applied. And then you can put contains a phrase, doesn't have a tag, exact match, has a tag. So it contains the phrase, you know, funnels or whatever. You might want it to give it. I mean, there's so much potential with this. It's really cool. Form submitted, form is you'll put, you know, your lead magnet or whatever. And then you've got um, order form submitted. You've got submission type. You've got order bump. You've got sale. You've got upsell. And then website, you can just pick which funnel, uh, which one has it. So I go with Funnel Hub or my lead magnet if they had an order form in there, I picked it. Realize though, neither of these had an order form. So it's not sensitive to know if an order form is there or not. So just know that. Order has been placed with a cart value equal to, that's really cool, a certain amount. So I can be like, hey, look, if someone spins a thousand equal, let's do this right now. If a thousand points, let's give, um, you know, like 25 points if someone spends more than a thousand bucks. Or, you know what, let's go five points. Five thousand. Uh, uh, five thousand. So now, oh, didn't save it again. So there you go. If you get that error, a lot of times you're not saving it. 
So then I'll come in, create another rule here. So we've got the uh, trigger link clicks. These are really cool. Trigger links can come in, you know, maybe you want them to have a specific action in an email or a series of emails or, or SMS or something like that. And you want to award them, be able to track it. Here you go. You Now you can do that. Booking appointments has a tag or in a certain calendar, you know, there you go. Or you could go with a tag, um, you know, and pick their different tag. And then appointment. Now this one's good. I like the status, new, confirmed, canceled, like no show, invalid, et cetera. You can give them points um, according to that. So that is how you, you use and set up engagement scores. I'm going to show you how it works real quick. We're going to say contact tag is added. We're going to add or we're going to minus 100 points if somebody gets his contact tag, which we're going to say missed call. So we're going to save that. Then we're going to save it overall. And I'm going to jump in here and show you if you go to your contacts and I pick somebody, you'll pick me. And then we go into tags right here. And then I go to the missed call and I add it. Now they'll have, they've had that tag added. Now, if I refresh and go out, you should see on the opportunities if I search this this person up, Jeffrey Banning, me, you'll see on the conversations and opportunities under conversations. There I go. I got minus 100 right there on the score. So you can see in action how it works right there. Pretty cool. I really like this feature. High Level is always coming up with new things. I'm so excited to be part of the High Level Content Army. Thanks for watching today's video. Follow the out. Peace.